Another issue we have to address about cleansing is how to deal with inconsistency. As we have referred, inconsistency occurs when there is some value that is incoherent with the rest of the data, but from a record point of view and not for each variable in particular. In some manner, while noise is a phenomenon related with variables, inconsistency relates to records in their global globality. And so, the idea is to identify records where the values assigned to some variables are not coherent. Naturally, this recognition is very hard to do when there is small levels of domain knowledge and are usually better addressed in the context of data warehousing. But there are other situations where we can talk about inconsistency. One of these cases is the inadequacy of the data to be processed by binding algorithms. Different algorithms deal differently with different types of variables. As we have seen before, we can distinguish between numeric and symbolic variables, and as expected, different algorithms deal with these different kinds of data in different ways. While numeric variables are naturally dealt by distance-based algorithms, symbolic data is better processed by frequency or logic-based methods. But naturally, we do not settle for these constraints, we just transform the data to the right format. As we have seen, discretization transforms numeric into a kind of symbolic data, discarding its infinitude nature. But converting symbolic values to numeric ones is non straightforward. Indeed, if there is a natural order among the symbolic values, we are in the presence of an ordinal variable and its translation to a numeric format is simple. Each value is transformed into a number, just keeping the original order among values. The problem is how to deal with nominal data, and the solution to it, to it is a process called dummification. Dummification, also known as one-hot encoding, is the process of transforming symbolic data into a set of binary variables, which only one can take a positive value. Suppose that our iris dataset has a color variable describing the flowers, and among the 115 records we, we encounter five different colors – pink, yellow, purple, blue and red. In this case, the variable color will generate five binary variables, and each value in the original record would be translated into the five new dummies. And so, for the pink flower, only the pink variable would be 1, while all the four others will kept to 0. For the red flower, all but the red variable receive 0, and so on. Note that now, the distance between any two colors is fixed, and all the colors become equally distant. If you measure the distance between a pink and a blue flower, it will be equal to the distance between a red and a purple one, for example. Of course, if colors would have a natural order among them, we would just translate them to a numeric variable, keeping the original order among the values. In another video, we will continue to deal with other situations capable of creating inconsistencies. Thank you and see you then!